Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video and welcome back to the Lexus build series. If you're new here, we've been taking this Lexus LX470 to 2001. It was totaled when I bought it and we have been fixing it and turning it into a full overland build. And today I'm coming at you obviously from home uh, in the driveway. We've got a little project we want to get done. We want to update the radio in this thing. Now, if you're an LX470 owner, you'll know how much the radio sort of sucks and I've been using the tape adapter in here with a dongle plugged into my phone and it's a terrible solution. The problem with the radio in these is that you can't just really replace the radio because everything's integrated into the dash, all your AC controls and things like that. So you can't just pull that radio out and put a new one in. So we're gonna install an aftermarket Bluetooth adapter. I'll show you what we're gonna do there, how we're gonna get that done. Cameron's gonna help me. Let's get into it. All right, first things first, we've got to pull this piece of this trim off. There we go. I kind of wish I was doing this at the shop. I don't have all my tools here. But the idea is this is just clipped in. Oh, there goes my tape adapter. <laughs> Pop this guy out. Just like that. And that was easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Just that one plug back here for some of these other controls. And we can set this aside for now. So for this, we're using this Grom Audio Bluetooth adapter. I got it on Amazon. It seemed to have good reviews and high volume, so I went for it. I will leave a link in the description below, but by the end of this, this video, you'll know if this thing works well or not. I have no affiliation with them whatsoever. And then the way this works is that this is going to plug into here, and then this harness is going to basically interrupt the CD changer and go in line there. So I think what we have to do is just select disc on the radio and it'll basically turn this on and then we'll be able to Bluetooth connect to the phone. And then there is a microphone as well that's gonna plug in here and then we'll have to run the mic for hands-free Bluetooth calling and that sort of thing. So pretty straightforward. So let me go get a Phillips head screwdriver and we will pull the radio out. Get this thing plugged in. Cameron is very vested in this because this is supposed to be her first car. She's a few years from driving, so we knew it would be a project to kind of get it to where we wanted it. And it, because it was totaled, we thought it was going to take a lot longer to put this thing back together than it has. Um, we've gotten very lucky on some things. I found some great parts used, things like that. Cool. You got all the screws out? Yep. I'll finish telling you that story in a minute. Here we go. Hold this. All right, so once those screws are out, we'll be able to pull this guy. Once you pull the radio out, all the radio control stuff is sort of down here. It's going to be this second plug like this, and then you're going to take your new harness, plug that into the harness, and then plug the harness back into the radio just like that. And then this end we'll plug into our new Bluetooth adapter, like so, and that's it. So I think the hardest part now is gonna be figuring out where to stuff this behind the dash, but I think before we button it up and plug in the mic and all that stuff, let's just, let's turn it on and make sure it works. This headset, is that it? Grom car connected, okay, disc. Yeah, that was easy. Okay, so now that we've confirmed that that all works, I'm going to route the wire for the microphone. And I just pulled this lower panel out of the bottom of the instrument cluster, and I'm going to mount the microphone either to that panel or to the side of the cluster, sort of out of the way. It's all black, and it hides hides in there really well. It'll pick up my voice as I project and talk that way. So now that um, this is all routed through here, we'll just have to plug it into this box, stash all this behind the radio, zip tie it, secure it so it's not rattling around, that sort of thing. Be able to button this thing up and uh, maybe we'll move on to another project here in the driveway. I ran the wire from behind the radio up here past the air vent. It's really hard to see back here but I plugged it in and now we're gonna wedge it in between the air vent and the side of the dash and the microphone plugs right into it right there. 
as well. It's nice and secure. So I'm not really worried about it rattling or coming loose or whatever, because it's kind of wedged in between the air vent and the instrument cluster and the dash right there. So, okay. Boom. Just like that, we made modern radio out of old radio. It's like magic. Yeah. It works good too. We made a quick test phone call. Camera can hear me. The microphone work. Um, all is well. I don't remember what I paid for it, but it was worth it because the like $15 tape adapter sucked. Not worth it at all. So I'd recommend doing this Bluetooth thing. But since I've got this thing back to driving, I've been driving it like almost every day. It's been like my daily driver. So I've been really happy with it, but that had to get fixed. Now, next week, I am headed to Overland Expo East. I'm taking the 80 Series Land Cruiser there, so if you guys want to follow along, make sure you subscribe to the channel for those videos, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.